Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Stone Block Mod Pack. Hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 35. I almost forgot. Today's episode 35, and I've got a pretty awesome episode planned for you guys. But first, we got to do question of the day. So, my question for you is what is your favorite mod pack out that you're playing right now? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you want to ask me some questions of the day, be sure to hit me up and follow me on Twitter at iJevin. Otherwise, if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So to start today's episode off, I am just working on some different Botania stuff. Those watches of flowing time are so good. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, so today we have got to make Terra Steel. Um... And a lot of you are very well versed in Botania, and there's no reason for me to do Terra Steel again. You guys saw Terra Steel on the Pyramid map and other maps. I really don't think it's necessary to. Wait, how did I end up with 31? <laughs> Maybe I forgot to put one down or something. I don't know. Anyways, so the game plan here is rather than doing a full episode on Botania. I am actually going to try and um, just finish it today, but what instead of just skipping ahead like I normally would, I'm going to try to do sort of a crafting montage where as I progress through Botania, making the Terra Steel, making the amalgamation plate, uh, things like that. I am just gonna, you know, record me with no commentary, sort of almost like an etho, sort of work your way through redstone type of montage, if you understand what that means. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, we are pretty much at the stage now where we have to make that plate, which means we need to make the runes, which means we're gonna need to make the altar this guy right here um that's easy we can make the altar we'll probably have to make the uh catalyst as well but uh i'm gonna go ahead and get started Okay, guys, so I am ready to make our pixie dust. Very exciting stuff. Before I can do that, though, I need to use the mana spreader to get mana into this next pool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this up and put the spreader down. Now, I'm only putting the spreader back down because we need mana in the pool. That That's it. So let me go ahead and throw some of that down. There we go. So that will start putting, once we see mana in this pool, we should be good to go. 
Let me move that. So nothing in there just yet. Does it take a little bit of time to get uh, get mana in there? Because oh, you know what? I bet none of these are connected. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. All right, we should be good to go now. I can just chuck all these in there pretty much. It takes quite a bit to actually keep this thing running. I've got a lot of mana in there, though. OK, so that's a decent amount of mana. Now I've got to put a portal above that and a portal above that. So now that that's finished, let's check out the pixie dust. It's just these mana pearls. OK, is that VMC? No. All right. So for the most part, just go ahead and jump all that in there. So how much mana do we have in here? Quite a bit in both. Awesome. OK, well, now is the time, guys. We should just be able to activate the portal. There we go. And seems like it's on. We're probably losing a lot of mana. OK, awesome. The portal is now active. Throw all those in there. Yes, guys, we did it. We got pixie dust. Thank God. Uh, is there a way to turn that off? Because I don't want that to continuously drain. Could I just break this, I suppose? There we go. Fantastic, guys. We successfully, successfully made pixie dust. Now, I think we're pretty much good to go, right? So here, 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 here. And then there's literally just one thing left to craft for the transmutation table. Transmutation. So I'm pretty sure it's just the middle star now. This guy right here. OK, so we oh, I already tore my draconic evolution stuff out. Darn it. OK, so give me a second to get that all set back up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've got my draconic stuff set back up. We need to go into Project E. So we need to make these energy collectors. So it's a lot of glowstone, dark matter and red matter for that most. So glass diamonds. So glass. Let's craft uh, 12 of them. We don't really need a lot of glass, but let's just make sure that we have plenty. We're going to need a lot of glowstone. Take that. We're going to need diamonds. Take that. We're going to need red matter. Take that. And we're going to need dark matter. Take that. There we go. So I think that's probably all we're going to need. Now, there's not a chance in the world that I'm going to remember. <laughs> remember the crafting recipes to these. So uh, so eight, eight, eight. So six of them, six, seven of them, seven of them. All right. So the first tier has to be four, uh, at least four. Then on one side, we need glass, diamonds and more glowstone. Split that into two. Put oh crap. Leave that there for now. Put that up. Crap. Put that there. OK. Oh, psycho. There we go. Now, uh, just for safe matter, I'm going to grab a pedestal. This shouldn't take that long to make. So what do we have to put in there to get the energy collector going? We have to put a furnace in. OK, that seems pretty straightforward. A furnace, grab one of those. All right, we are good to go. This honestly don't think this is going to take long using those like uh, cryo stabilization ducks or whatever these things are. I can't say the word. These flux ducks, the should things should go pretty fast, um, especially with this thing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. And then so now I need to remove these two. Remove that, split that in half. And then the next one should just be dark matter. Start. And with that right there, that's so, so quick. OK. Good to go. Put that in there. Remove that. Put that right there. Start. Fantastic. Yeah, so we, we got a lot of energy running through these cables, but you know, with the speed that we have everything, we should be fine. Guys, I think we finally finished it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my good. Oh, I'm something's messed up. 
I wonder what I messed up. All right, let's look at the, the crafting recipe and see what I did wrong. Um, interesting. I don't see any problems. Uh, I guess we could just take everything out and try to complete the auto craft by itself. All right, so I wonder what I did different. So I should be able to shift click. It's not letting me craft it. And it all went in there just fine. Am I doing something wrong? I'm kind of confused. Um, uh, what? Well, let's just look at the recipe to be 100% certain. Everything is there. Does this like take power or something? So let's see, energy condensers, energy condenser, energy condenser, energy condenser, done. Neutronium uh, nuggets, those are all there. Then we have these HDPE sheets. Those are all good to go. Uh, dark matter, that's all good. And then evil infused ingots, good to go. Uh, night slime, okay. And then night slime. We have quantum storage units. Good to go. Uh, energy ender stars. MJ M energy collector MK3. Good to go. I'm a little confused. Huh. Um, can we break this? Does it take? Oh, it takes the other one. All right. Well, I'll, I'll try and break it and see. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, I probably kept all my stuff in there. Here, let's just, tr I guess, try it again, maybe? I don't know. Is there some kind of glitch or something, I wonder? Because I don't think I did anything bad. So there. Yeah, I, I, it goes in there perfectly. Um, I suppose I could cheat it in. I mean, that's the only thing I could think to, to do. Otherwise, maybe I'm missing something. If something was wrong, the item would not go in the table. It has to be 100% certain that it's in there. So not really sure. We've got the extreme crafting table. That's what that is. Maybe it's the wrong crafting table. That one says extreme crafting table. Is there two different ones? Let's make sure. No, it's just the extreme crafting table. But when you hit uses on this, extreme crafting, it's the same thing. Uses. Yeah, I mean, OK, well, I mean, pretty sure I'm I got everything that I need. Um, Not really sure what I did wrong. I, I guess I'll just leave this here for now and then say I take the table because I think I did do the crafting right. Um, I'm not sure what else could possibly be wrong, but if you guys have any ideas and I missed it, let me know. Obviously, I'm not trying to cheat, but I, I do feel as though I made it. I mean, all right, guys, so I did a ton of research into why I couldn't craft the table. It was really bugging me, right, because we spent quite a lot of time making all of these recipes and finishing all this stuff updated the pack to the newest version everything that i could possibly think of so looking online there is an issue with these quantum storage tanks see how they don't stack yeah that's a problem you want to know why this one is filled with air that's right so by breaking it and then I heard that if you put it into the crafting table, you can clear it, put it back in here, and voila, there's the transmutation table. So if you run into that issue where you have the entire recipe complete, everything looks good, check the quantum storage tanks. Shoo, that's annoying, right? That's gotta be the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. That should probably be fixed because I was freaking out. I thought I did something wrong. I was like, no, I just grinded Botania for like two hours trying to get this stuff to work. So we're good now. Now that we have the transmutation table finished, 
all of this dark matter that we have been creating is going to be put to good use. And like I said, I'm even on the newest version of the pack. So jump mode enabled. No. So let's go ahead and we're just going to keep this right here. And then let's put this all into there. Now, one thing that I think would probably be pretty beneficial to us using this table is the Tome of Knowledge. This guy right here, if it's craftable. Oh, you actually have to use a Chaotic. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> okay. So we have the EMC table done now or the transmutation table. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these quests. We still have to finish some of this stuff. Um... We could probably finish the deep dark one. Still need to do the ultimate furnace. Um, kind of a few in there. That'll be easy to finish. Dracon oh, wow. Draconic Evolution's really done. Claim all that. Claim all that. Claim all that. Uh, Wyvern Core finished. Okay. Let's go back to Project E now. Uh, Alchemical Chest is good. Energy Condenser is good. Transmutable. There we go. We got all kinds of loot. Let's go ahead uh, and see what we got here. Ooh. Oh, that's not, not the one I was liking. Uh, nature cores are stupid. Nobody wants those ever. Those are what I wanted. Those things are amazing. Okay. Also, by the way, guys, somehow the gain on my microphone got turned down a little bit. So the noise in the latest couple of videos is probably pretty low. All right, guys, I have been grinding quests, so I've gotten quite a bit done, actually. So let me claim these two. Let me go over here to my chest. I have gotten about that many, about 11 quests, 10 quests done. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have finished, because now that I have EMC, it's so, so easy to finish anything. So I finished Mystical Agriculture tab completely. We finished the Ultimate Furnace. I have been working on solar panels and all of these solar panels have EMC. So, uh, like that solar panel eight is in there. That's like the easiest solar panel to craft now because of that. So that's all taken care of. We need to make this rainbow generator. So let's go ahead and work on that. Now I was going to say we should have, you know, every single generator in there. So let's go ahead and see if we can't just craft it. It shouldn't be that hard. So to make the rainbow generator, you need the two pieces. So there's the bottom piece and not letting me craft the top piece uses. There we go. Top piece, put those together. Rainbow generator. Uh, when all the generators combine, taste of unlimited power through the rainbow. Um, okay. It's all generators at once. I don't understand how that works, but seems pretty cool. <laughs> Regardless, it's a finished quest now. There we go. So we still have to do all of the reactor stuff and then all of the solar array things. I don't know how to do the solar array stuff. So we're going to have to learn that, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so let's go back to the first page. We have deep dark portal finished. I just got to do those four. Uh, we could probably do the solar stuff or the generator stuff. Do I have any Yalorium? I have two. I can break this down. There we go. Okay. So it's going to need all of the typical reactor stuff. Um, so first off, actually let's take a look at the quest. So casings, flux ports. Oh, that's easy. I can totally do all that. All right. So it wants uh, ports. First off, let's make some casings. I'm out of something. Then it just go. Hold on. Oh, OK. I understand. So let me grab some coal. Um, go downstairs real fast. Should be able to put that in there. All right, so there is our piece that we need. So over here, uh, graphite. I was trying to think of the name of it. I'm like, guys, I have no idea. All right, so casing. 
there. So there's a casing. Couple stacks of those. All right, so let's go ahead and do all the reactor stuff now. Should be pretty easy to do. So casings finished. Redstone port finished. Here, let me actually keep some of this in my inventory. Um, okay. Reactor. We need a controller, which requires these. Wait, you actually need uranium for that? How in the bloody heck do you get uranium? Uranium, I should say. Because that's not... Oh, that I guess that's a legacy one. Interesting. I don't think I can craft that. I, I probably can. I just need to actually look at it. Okay. So, um, is there anything else I can, like, finish right now? Because I'm not going to bother with that anymore. Uh, finished, finished. We need to do all of that still. What about Draconic Evolution? Uh, eh. I can probably finish a lot of this stuff too, but... Alright, so we got a lot of stuff finished today. Alright guys, so I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications for when the videos come out. This is iJevin. Peace out.